Thanks for joining me again. So today I'm going to try to combat cabinet resonance. So using the Silas Sound Deadener, we're going to try to knock down some cabinet resonance. In my last video, I hooked up an exciter to my RCA 12 inch three way project and, you know, found out how bad the cabinet resonates when I introduce a direct source of excitement to it. And uh, so I found out that it does resonate. It starts getting really, you can hear it audibly at about 400 Hertz. And then it continues to go on up to, you know, past 4,000 Hertz, let's say. Um, now my woofer is gonna be crossed over roughly 800 Hertz, give or take. So chances of a lot of resonance happening above that, say 2,500 mark are pretty slim. Um, I think it's gonna roll off pretty gradually. Even the resonance that I introduced to the cabinet directly, even at 400 Hertz to say 1,000 Hertz, it was still about say 40, almost 40 decibels lower than like what the music would normally play at at the same volume. So I'm not thinking it's a huge problem, but I think that I should take care of it nonetheless. I think that the quieter that cabinet is, the better. So I'm gonna try these and see how they work. They're made for putting inside cars for reducing sound and vibration. So uh, let's see what these babies do. All right, so in classic fashion, I'm working here in my little office and just <laughs> it's on the floor. Um, and I'm gonna get started putting these inside of the cabinet. So these are peel and stick. So that part's good and they're pretty tacky. Um, the only thing I have to do is trim them down to size where they have to fit inside the cabinet. All right, so let me take you for a grand tour of what I've done. I've used as much of this as I can, and there's only uh, 19 sheets that come in this thing. So I had to split it up because I've got two cabinets to do. So it's not the, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it'll get the job done. I've got most of the flattest parts of the panels, so it's not entirely covered. If I was to use the entire box, I could do the whole thing. I don't think that that's gonna be all that necessary. Another piece here though, right there where that one's missing. All right, so I just put a piece in there too, just to try to add a little bit of something, something to the cabinet. There are other bare spots, but I think this is going to reduce the resonance quite a bit. At least, that's my hope.
So this is at minus 10 dB. If I go up to zero, which is nutty loud for this thing, it's still coming out, but it's coming through the woofer, coming through the paper cone woofer more than anything. It's not so bad. Let's turn it back down to negative 10 where we had it before. So there you have it, if you can see it, what it's looking like. That was Mike really close to the back panel sitting right on it, negative 10 dB. And this is our results. I think it got quieter. I'll have to compare. But uh, I do have it mounted differently right now. I have it on the cross braces in there instead of the panel itself. So that, uh, that could be part of it too. But at any rate, this was interesting. See you next time.